previously on Fort Mang's Emblem. Nothing will stop me. Fine, twist my arm. I'll do my best! What happened to Dorka? Easy pickings. Soldiers of Scrublin, my name is Lucina Lowell. Uh, boss, it's not working. Everyone, charge! I merely wish to understand the meaning of the word faggot <laughs> dreams internally. Aha, it means fool. It's basically an ancient synonym for fool. Faggot <laughs> was stopped! Suicide sounds tempting right about now. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play uh, Fire Emblem Fort Mengs Edition. Uh, let us insert some trap jokes here as we jump into the final chapter of the first arc. This way, my lord, Mental Dash is being held in a cell back there. <clears throat> Let's make this quick. I want to find out who's in charge of these so-called Meme and Jerry mercenaries. TC, my friend, may I ask you a question? How long ago were you taken prisoner? Uh, a week ago? Yes, it happened a week ago, hehe! <laughs> Is that so? And did you get any news from your captures? Rumors, whispers, something like that? Eh, nope, not a single word! Our meals were brought to us by servants from the neighboring village. They were instructed not to speak with us and we heard nothing of the war. By the way, my lord, how fares for Manx? The fort is in ruins, the people are suffering, and the chaos reigns supreme. Ugh, hmm, <laughs> chaos, hmm. Hey, TC, you alright? Yes, absolutely, I'm completely fine. Now we should stop fooling around and head straight to our objective. Enough. Huh? Mangs, TC betrayed you. He's probably leading us into a trap. Nani? This is Mecha, are you sure? For starters, he knows about the bracelet. And I highly doubt the admin decided to reveal him this, to him the secret so suddenly. Also, I would like to know why you're concealing a dagger within your sleeve. And why didn't you even try to free Meta Big <laughs> since you're clearly armed? Last but not least, my recruitment senses are silent. Therefore, you are a villain. There's no denying it. Oh, scheisse! Ah, in that case, my dear TC, you better explain yourself. Otherwise, I'm not. I'm going to cut your head off. <laughs> the evil laughter. Seriously? Oh well, it's still an admission of guilt. Could you at least try to explain to me why you decided to side with our sworn enemy? It's pretty simple. By doing this, I don't have to pretend anymore. Being an elitist? Kek! Worshipping Naga? Lulwood! Finally, my fondest wish is granted! The... The chaos! It's so beautiful! Oh fuck, he's completely insane. Oh, I like how Slendy's using the new Swordmaster uh, animation. That's enough. You've done well, TC. I'll take over now. You may, um, resume mas masturbating in front of your slanish picture. Oh, spelling mistake. That was there in the previous one as well. They didn't fix that yet. Who are you? What the hell is going on here? We've never met. I'm Slendy, leader of the Meme and Jerry Mercenaries. I'm working under contract for the Scrap Vampire. Not impressed. Now before I take your life, do me the favor and release my subjects. I'm sick and tired of you guys getting in my way, really. Ah, you mean your fellow elitists? That worm managed to bullshit his way out of this place. His retainer came up with a total ass pull that even now haunts General Ryomers. However, I'm not a comic relief character, it's like the Dweller from the, <laughs> the Fire Emblem Heroes channel. It was my cunning that led us to turn this advantage, uh, unfortunate setback to our advantage. I spread the rumors myself. I led the villagers and the scrub army to believe he was our prisoner. This is indeed the best trap in America, if I do say so myself. Still not impressed. I have a lot of pent-up frustration that needs to be released. You idiots will do nicely, I think. Hmm, overconfident fool. Do not compare us to the scrubs. I didn't even send a request for reinforcements. Wanna know why? Because I will take all of the glory for this victory. It belongs to us, the Meme and Jerry Mercenaries! Let's end this, shall we? First, to destroy the bridge and cut off your only avenue of escape. Comrades, to arms! Kill this fat ass and take his bracelet. So, Meta escaped and we're trapped. We? Oh no. Mekwa, you got this all wrong. They are the ones trapped here with us! You know, you almost spoke like a true king. Almost. Alright, so it is time for uh, the final part of Act 1. I don't think I- did I explain Momiji last time? Oh, nice. Got the Sword Weaver. So, uh, Momiji is uh, the lewd mod on, on, on my Discord server. Actually, she she is a full-time mod now. It used to be primarily the lewd mod to keep the lewd dungeon safe, because God knows it needs it. And Slendy is the person responsible for making all the wonderful PMEs. So, um, 
Uh, I had to replay the last three maps because I was an idiot. While getting some footage for our shit posts from Four Fort Manx Emblem, I accidentally saved over my save file. I, I had an old one, but it, it went back to the 5x. I had to replay the previous three chapters, so you might see slightly different stats on my units as a result. However, on my replay, I did get the engine ring with Makoto. Now, who am I gonna give this to, you may ask? Is there even a need to ask? Honestly, I'm not just giving this to Claire because she's my waifu. I'm giving it to Claire because she doubles a lot, and so the energy ring is better on her. Um, but yeah, we are just gonna go. So, I'm gonna show you guys an amazing strategy that I developed for this part. It's actually it's just a regular reposition strategy, but I, I still wanna do it. So, I kinda wanna have uh, Louise go on this pillar right here if she can. Oh, wait. Um... What was I going to do? I had a really good strategy for this first part. Oh yeah, right, I was gonna use Manx, the Steel Axe, to murder the soldier. That's what I was gonna do. Yeah, amazing strats right here. Here you go, perfect. And that allows me to get someone in range of this guy. This guy has an Iron Lance. Now this guy has a Horse Slayer, so he needs to die like really quickly. Um, so I'm going to use Boss Win. Oh wow, Boss, holy shit. Look at boss win, man. Man, that boss win, dude. So, um, 313 Archer and 313 Merc are gonna show up at some point, so I'm gonna bring a bow from boss win over to 313 Archer. Probably the steel bow. And I'm going to send Mecha this way. Actually, no, no, no. Oh, I, I fucked up my reposition strats. No! I was going to reposition Orson so that he could go kill this guy, but... I guess that's not happening. I guess we'll we'll do this with Mecha instead, which honestly is a better idea. Anyway. There you go. But yeah, I'm probably going to like pick up the bow with Ogim and like ferry it over. Nice. nice. Ooh, S rank lance is perfect. Cause my 313 Archer when I replayed the map, he nearly broke his bow, which kinda sucks, so. Let's do he doesn't need the slim lance. And then we can do this. And we can send Orison this way with the hammer. It's Luis this way. Ooh, nice. So I, when I replayed, I, I saw a lot of supports, but I didn't activate them. So we got a lot of supports built up. I think even Manx can, yeah, he can support with Claire now, which is really nice. I still haven't decided which one of these waifus I'm going to marry. It's such a tricky choice. Like, ah, I don't know. I want to marry them both. Why can't I marry them both? It's so mean. I also did another mistake, but I'll show you that later. There we go, good job, Agim. Totally better than Nino. The best cavalier. Hit points and speed. See? Agim's got speed. He's alright. Oh wow, they really like going for Agim. But, I guess they never hit, huh? <laughs> you got an armor slayer. Oh, sh okay, never mind. I thought he had a bow for some reason. I was like, what the hell? Uh, wait a minute. Oh, no, that, that, that guy didn't drop his weapon. Never mind. I'm just an idiot. Here they are. Alright, we've arrived just in the nick of time. Oh, man, ambushing that caravan a few days ago was like the best idea ever. Not only did we learn that the king was coming to our rescue, but we also discovered that the scrubs were trying to trick him, too. Okay, exposition time is over. Our goal is to join forces with Manx and defeat our opponents. Let's roll. So, what did I fuck up on, you might ask? I forgot to trade TC's equipment over when I replayed. So, that means I lost out on a Sword Reaver, a Silver Axe, and an Onion, and a Hand Axe, which... Yeah, it sucks, but I mean, I guess guess we're playing on hard mode, right? But yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed about that. Also got a support, man. So nice. many different supports I've built up over the past three chapters. Nice. There you go. The meta squad is supported. I got a shit ton of onions, though. Holy shit. I think I... Yeah, I even got one with me <laughs> Mecha and Ogim. It's great. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to murder this guy with the hammer. There you go. And what I'm actually gonna do now is I'm gonna do something funny. Pick points and defense. Wow, I'm not, I'm not getting the best level ups right now. Nice. So I'm gonna keep this door key, but I'm going to pull Momiji because she moves. So I'm gonna put position Manx right here with this Puji. And we gotta make sure that we place Claire and Sloise within range of Manx as well to give him the optimal boost. He should be able to one-shot Momiji, honestly. 
Mamaji is very annoying because she can. Wow, holy shit. She can. Um, if you don't kill her immediately, then she'll start healing, which is really annoying. Alright, Bosswin go up here, Makoto go here. Then we gotta start killing these guys. Uh, we are gonna trigger the support once I kill these guys. Oh shit, that's not good. Um, can Mecha kill this guy? Oh, that really sucks. Alright, I guess I'm using Mecha Silverlands to kill the mercenary then. I kinda have to now. Or else they'll just go and murder, murder Sarah, which is not nice. Uh, yeah, this works. Master of exact damage right here. Good job, Mecha. Nice. Then we'll go meet up with uh, the other squad nice. with Mecha and Agim. Oh shit, no! I didn't mean to do that, fuck! Oh well, I guess we're getting an Armor Slayer to 313 Merc then. I mean, could be worse, I guess. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I got a Javelin, apparently. Bam! Take my Pooji! And now, if I if I am correct, I'm pretty sure Mamaji should, like, move around. Oh, crap. Completely forgot about that guy. Even forgot to turn on animations for the meta squad. I hate that hallway right there. It's so annoying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just die already so I can kill the boss and get my sword reaper axe. Could have had two if I traded the one from TC. But it's really good that you, um... It's really good that you get a sword reaper, though. I don't... Did I even look at Slendy stat? Oh, what the hell? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I told you guys. That this is what... Momiji will heal over attack. Which is really annoying. I don't think I showed off Slendy's inventory, did I? Yeah. <laughs> What's this? Um... He has... What? Rally movement? That's a really weird skill. Will Slendy actually use that? I don't think the AI uses rallies, does it? I know it does in Void Splitsar Adventure. But, oh nice! Master of exact damage right here. You might have bested me once, but there won't be a second time. Taste my furry! I mean fury! Uh. Ah, you're too strong, I yield! Boom, 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 boom. Hit points, luck, and defense. Alright, that's good. Nice. That gives us a Sword Weaver. And that's gonna be really instrumental in defeating Slendy. And then we're gonna do this. I'm gonna take Makoto so he doesn't get javelined. Oh, we gotta actually kill this guy too. I must not forget. Oh, what the fuck? What? Are you serious right now? God fucking damn it. <laughs> oh man, that's annoying. Alright, uh, anyway, we can get Sarah up here. Ooh, we can even... We have another support, holy shit. Nice. There you go. So that's a... Uh, is that a... That's a B-rank support with Orson, so that's pretty good. Man, this is like the supporting right here. Uh, let's also do this support. Nice. nice. I really need to give Ogum some more kills, though, but I really want to kill this guy, too. Uh. Luckily, I have Manx Math, so I didn't kill the guy. Although, he'll probably suicide on Mecha next turn. Alright, um, let's see. What if we can treat her? How are we gonna do this? Uh, wow, Meta Dash actually doesn't kill here. That really sucks. Also, I am reminded that I haven't done this yet. I think there's some talk conversations here. The uh, talk with Mecha right here. Oh, that's right. He has passed. Well, I guess we'll just have to do this now. Ra -da -da. He goes down. And I should be able to mop up the survivors with these guys. Granted, 313 Merc uh, doubles, which I think he does. Alright, come on, get a good level up now. Hit points, strength, and luck. Eh, that's okay, I guess. There we go. Oh, that's actually not a kill. Oh, never mind, it is! <laughs> 313 Merc strikes again. Alright, nice. Very nice. Hit points, skill, and defense. Eh, it's okay, I guess.
Uh, this guy has stayed alive for longer than I thought he would. Oh wow, he doubles boss win, dude. Ten more of those and he'll die. Oh, hi. Oof. Oof. That hurts. Alright. Time for ultimate damage. So I think he'll probably just clear out this entire room now, honestly. Oh, I thought that guy had a javelin. I guess not. So yeah, argument mecha support is actually pretty good, because it gives a lot of avoid, and it also gives a lot of critical avoid, which helps mech out, because his luck sucks. So once it reaches A, I think it's actually really good. Ah, oh, I forget that these guys have javelins. Boring! There's a thief that's gonna spawn eventually as well. Gotta be a little bit careful about that. Ugh! Nasty poison. Alright, let's heal up poison. I am sort of tempted to early promote Sarah, honestly, just because of her promotion. It's an amazing one. Uh. But I'm not going to do that, at least not yet. Anyway, we can do a little bit of a... Actually, can Manx just... Wow, he can just one-shot these, or one-round these guys with the Steel Axe. Okay, then. I guess the hammer is completely unnecessary. There you go. Good job. And then sadly I didn't get to drop Makoto, which sucks a little bit, but hey, what can you do? Now please hit this boss win, Jesus Christ. Kill this guy already, thank you. Took for fucking ever. Well, there's some annoying longbow guys over here, but they don't one-shot Claire, I'm fairly certain. So I'm just gonna drop you off here. And I think if Agim does this, then Mecha can kill the Armor Knight. And we can join up with the other guys. There you go! Let's see. Uh, Iron Lance time. Yeah, I dropped my Silver Lance. That, that does kind of suck a little bit, because uh, Mecha's not going to be able to meet up with Magnus, who's the convoy, for quite some time. But he can eventually, though, so it's fine. Uh, so Luis, you follow up. And we definitely want to pull this guy. I'm, I'm probably just going to do that with 313 Archer. This mage is actually really scary. We're also gonna get attacked from behind by some cavaliers. Normally you can just kill them with Ephraim, but we don't have Ephraim right now. Oh, nice one. That's gonna be a kill. Hmm. I really like how they buffed Sure Shot now. It's actually a useful skill. Okay, I was sort of on the mark. A little bit dangerous, a little bit dangerous. Um. That chest over there has a, um, an angelic robe. Wait, yeah, why did I drop Makoto there? Holy shit. Nice. And I think I'm honestly gonna give that to Claire. Yeah, 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 special treatment, blah, 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 I know. But I honestly think she can make great use of it, because her hit points are a little bit low. And we both know I'm gonna use my waifu, so... So yeah, I think I will just go and use that right away, honestly. Nice. There we go. Nice. Uh, so that puts her hit points up at 30, which is honestly a much more comfortable number for me. I think angelic robes are made for Pegasus Knights anyway, because they tend to have low hit points, and it sort of remedies that. Get, gets them out of one-shot range for a couple of bows and stuff like that, which is always nice. Alright, so yeah, this is the archer, the mage I was talking about. I hate this guy, because he, he has crit against some of your guys. As you can see, 3% crit, which is really annoying. Anyway, here's your bow. I think Ogum will just grab a Pepsi Max for now. And then I think we'll just let Mecha deal with this guy. But thanks to the Ogum support, he doesn't get crit anymore. Not that this guy could have killed Mecha with a crit anyway, but it's nice. Here we go. And I think I'll just send this entire squad up this little hallway right here. Anyway, we have a combo right here. General Hockham. Well met, 313 mercenary. I never thought for a moment that someone so powerful and experienced as you could be bested in combat so easily. You honor me with your words, my lord. And I never doubted your tactics would prevail against would prevail against the scrubs in their foul play. Merc, about TC. I will tell you all the details at the right time, General. Unbelievable, isn't it? But facts are facts. Yeah, the thought that he's been fooling us all these years is frustrating. It doesn't matter now, let's just focus on the task ahead. Right behind you, sir. 
And then we have... Uh, who does 313 Archer talk to? No one. Oh, okay. Yeah, Meta Dash talk talks to Manx, but we knew that already. Alright, boss win, get up here. Ooh, nice, another support. The supportning. Yeah... These guys suck. They have javelins and stuff. So we probably need everyone to bring these guys down. I think there's even a second wave, if I'm not completely mistaken. Not sure, though. Alright, just because I don't want to fuck up, I'm gonna quaff a Pepsi Max with Sarah. You never know when I might do something dumb, you know? Uh, let's see. These guys have javelins? They do not. There we go. Manx is gonna murder Slendy with the Sword Reaver. And I think I'm actually just going to pick up Makoto with Claire to get him over there faster. Alright, let's see. 313 Archer, do you double here? You do not. I'm probably not gonna kill these guys without my Silver Lance, no sir. I'm gonna focus on the one with the Javelin, I think. But this is fine. I think both of them, I think two of them have Javelins, and one has an Iron Iron Lance. Uh, no. Only this guy has a Javelin. Okay then, that's good. So let's take him down. Uh. And this could be a nice kill for Mental Dash. I do wonder, does uh, Mental Dash, he only got a support with 313 Archer? Does he not got one with 313? Oh, what the hell, Metal Dash? Are you kidding me? Wow, okay. Okay. Okay, just be like that, I guess. Alright, maybe we can throw a Javelin at the guy? That'd be nice. Come on, kill him! Oh shit, it's not enough! Wow, why is Meta Dash so bad? Or rather, why are these guys so good? Holy shit! Alright, that's a really smart move right there. Attack the one guy that has good 2 range out of this group. Impressive choice. Alright, oh, they want to break bows, that's why. I remember now, Mecha told me this about the AI. They love breaking weapons. It's their favorite thing in the whole world. Alright, well, at least Dogim's getting some experience, that's good. But yeah, you can really tell that the enemies are scaled up, because normally there's you have no issues doubling. But you do now. Okay, so there's that thief that always steals one of my items. Um, can Makoto steal his lockpick? I doubt it. Because the guy has 16 speed. I know for a fact that Makoto does not have that kind of... Um, he does definitely does not have that, have that kind of speed. So we gotta be careful. Because that guy can like go and steal something really valuable. Which really sucks. Anyway, we can do this. But where's my pure water? I think someone has it. Does Mecha have it? Yeah, Mecha has it. That actually kind of sucks. Because I would actually like that pure water somewhere else. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll we'll mm, yeah we'll use Mengs with this Puji to draw out some of the mages. These guys all have melee weapons, so if we put Orson right here, he is being supported by Sarah, which is nice. And then I can do this, I guess. She is carrying someone, which is a bit annoying. I could drop Makoto off, honestly, but he'll just lose something if I do. Or he might actually, uh, does he get one shot right here? Nine? No, he doesn't. What if I just drop him off here? Yeah, I think I'll do that. Oh, come on. Why is this squad so bad all of a sudden? Wow. Alright, I'm gonna try to set up another kill for Ogim. I doubt I'm gonna get it though, but it would be nice. If I control, like, one Javelin with Metal Dash, and then do one hit with Agim, then that should be a kill. Let's see. 
Yep, it's gonna be a kill, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a level up too, so that's nice. Come on, get strength and speed our game. Let's go. Hit points, strength, and luck. Okay. Alright, okay. Nice. D rank in Lances, though, so that's steel level, which is nice. Alright, so this hurts a little bit. But Makoto is fine. Hashtag it combat thief, am I right? Oh, okay. Forgot that he could go for Luis. But this is fine, honestly, because I'm pretty sure she doubles the slow soldiers. Because my Luis is fast for some reason. <laughs> hmm. Alright. So, once I'm done dealing with this guy... Man, this, it's such a long walk up the throne room. I might, I might cut as I move all those units up the hallway. Oh, shit. Okay, this is fine, actually. Manx has more resistance than I think he has. His resistance is actually pretty good, because he took 10 damage from a Thunder Tome. That usually does, like, 15+. plus. But he can still die here if he's not careful. I do wonder how many uses of the Pooja I have left. I think I've been using it pretty liberally. Alright, so this thief will die. Can't steal his lockpick, sadly. 16 speed on thieves is just cruel. Makes it impossible to steal anything back from them. Alright, cool. We got the poison removed. And here comes the hammer. Hammer! You know, killing armor knights with hammers might just be one of the most satisfying things in Fire Emblem. I don't know why it feels so satisfying, but it just does. It's like, it has an oomph to it that the other effective weapons just don't. I don't really know why, it just does. I've always just loved it. Like, Horse Slayer against Horses, yeah, it feels well, It feels good, I guess. Armor Slayer against Armor Knights, like, meh. But Hammers against Armor Knights, it's like, mmm, mmm, when the hammer hits just right, you know? I don't know why. Maybe you guys agree with me. Maybe, maybe, maybe you guys disagree with me. I, 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 let me know in the comment section if you if you share this uh, belief that hammers are just oh, it feels great. I just imagine this nice little crunchy sound, you know, like -dunk -dunk -dunk. just the sound of armor shattering. Okay, so it's always tedious to fight these guys. Um, we're gonna let. Actually, this is sort of dangerous because I. Th Let's see, 18 damage versus Luis. He's gonna deal 10 damage. Actually, this is fine. Yeah, but she can't take two hits, though. Yeah, we're gonna have to put her here. And then I have to judge if I wanna take this chance or not. I probably don't. No, I'm not gonna take that chance. Not even on Manx, a character renowned for his gambling. Okay, can we get another kill with Agim here? We can, if 313 Archer... Oh, shit! Should've checked his damage, lol. Oh, well. Well, that happened. Hit points, strength, skill, and luck. Still don't know if I want to use 313 Archer or Boswin, honestly. I like I like the concept of Boswin a lot more. But I think 313 Archer is, is just strictly a better unit, honestly. Anyway, Makoto, is there any way to safely get him past here? Not really. I'm just gonna keep him here for the time being. Okay, they're going for boss win. Makes sense. Makes sense. Ba -ba -ba. Mage fight. Oh, you're trying to <laughs> you're trying to six to nine my wife. Who are you? Big mistake. Big mistake. Just as I planned, all according to Kaikaku. Always feels great. Oh, nice one. Always feels great whenever you get two ra or one to two range units to attack your two range unit. I don't know why. It just always makes made me feel good. What the hell? What? Eclipse? I don't remember this. Eclipse with actual hit on it? This must be a new thing. Pretty sure the Eclipse has like no hit and when like pretty sure that guy does not have Eclipse originally. I might be wrong, though. Okay, 50 hit. Pretty good. Alright, let's have some fun. 
So, let's see. Uh, no. <laughs> Definitely no. It's definitely gonna have to be Manx with the Sword Weaver going up against Lendy. But first, we gotta get the treasury. Actually, like, is there even any point in moving Mecha 313 Archer and those guys up there? Will they even reach in time? I guess they will, possibly, so. Might as well, right? Ba -ba -ba. I don't think Mecha needs healing, honestly. Yeah, I hate this hallway, it's so annoying. Okay, so we got this mage. Uh, he's gonna go for Manx, so we should probably change his weapon. Claire can kill the mage. Can she one-shot? She can with the Steel Lance. Let's go for it. Uh. Mecha's been posting a lot of tweets about how good Claire is lately. I think he's enjoying this hack. She is ridiculously good, though. I'd say she's probably better than Vanessa in the vanilla game. Like, just stats and growth-wise. 80% speed growth is ridiculous. Um, let's see. So, oh shit, I just placed her in range of an archer. But this is fine. It's a longbow. It's not particularly something we need to care about. Another support? Holy shit. Nice. This is really cool. Uh, where's Sarah, though? Oh, yeah, she just healed Claire. Never mind. Um, yeah, I think I'll just wait for a little bit. I want to have Luis be close to Manx anyway for the upcoming battle. Actually, I can do this. Yeah, this is fine. I can start breaking down the wall. It's not like there's any enemies here who can pose a threat to boss one anyway, so it's fine. Oh, shit, Lance Reaver. Oh, never mind. Mecha just says, screw your Reaver weapon. Screw your weapon, Triangle. I don't give a shit. Plink. <laughs> screw your attack. And yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Claire does not give a shit about your longbow. Alright, time to face Lendy on the next turn. It's gonna be fun. I got a lot of luck too, so I don't care about the grid. Like, Manx with the Sword Reaver is like the perfect Slendy counter. Hit points, luck, and defense. He's, he might get double though. Possibly. Yeah, try harder with the Eclipse, buddy. I mean, it is sort of scary when it can actually hit, but usually reducing your... Like, because he, he usually goes last. Like, if Eclipse Tomes went first most of the time, they would be a lot more scary. Because reducing your hit points at the end of the turn isn't, like, or halving your hit point at the end of the turn is not ex exactly what I would call dangerous, you know? Alright, let's go face the Slendy Poo. We can also uh, stand on the pillar for even more avoid, but I think Manx actually won't need it. Like, if we take a look at this, nope, he will not need it at all. I mean, I'll stay on the pillar just for to reduce Slendy's hit rate to 2%, but still. At long last, I've been looking... I've been looking to this moment? I am Slendy, leader of the Meme and Jerry Mercenaries. The Herder Emperor, the first Meme Lord. Feel the wrath of my salty soul. Slendy salty. Oh, whoa, what's this? Alright. Does this guy have a Lance Reaver too, or is this like the anti-mecha hallway? There you go. We're coming late to the party. Okay, instead of giving, I will drop. I guess Orson can help out here then. He doesn't even need his Pooji, how nice. Or maybe he does. Or maybe he doesn't! There you go. Good job, Orson. And then we can let... Ah, actually, this is sort of scary. Nah, probably not. The Eclipse Tome goes last. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about the Shaman, but I, I don't think it's going to be a big deal, honestly. This guy goes from Mecha, as I predicted. Um, he'll probably double him? No? No, Mercenaries are ridiculously OP. I forget how strong they are. Uru, what's this? Gotta hand it to Slendy though. I have shit hit against him, even with a Reaver weapon. 
So yeah, now the Shaman will go for Buswin, and Buswin's resistance is kind of crap, but I'm still not supremely worried. Oh wow, he goes for Manx, what the hell? What? What's the logic behind that? Is it because he's attacking the boss? That is a really weird AI decision right there. Why? Oh, the Shaman doesn't even move, that's right. Alright then, um... Let's just keep supporting these two. And keep punching Slendy in the face. <laughs> Take that, Slendy! Bam! <laughs> Defeated by you? Damn it. Fuck you, Deomers. You told me these guys were pushovers. Ooh, that level, though. Strength, luck, and resistance. Yeah, baby! Alright, can we kill this guy now? No, we have to use Mecha. Oh, wow. Well, at least we get, the, we get to give the kill to Ogim, which I'm fine with, honestly. There you go. Ugh. Best Cavalier right here, boys. Alright, so if we can knock down the wall, which we should be able to do, I think the Puji, yeah, the Puji has the might for it, which is good. And... I think that should cause the Shaman to start moving, right? Right? If this doesn't cause him to start moving, then what will? So yeah, I'm just gonna mop up this chapter really quickly, because honestly it's done at this point. Just clearing up the stragglers. Alright, so we got all the treasure. Let us uh, do this uh, conversation, shall we? Admin Metadash. Boss, you're safe. Naga be praised. Ha, of course I am. Those faggots cannot possibly hope to defeat me. Indeed, now that my role in this reskin is over, may I go home? Oh, no, no, no. You're staying with me until the end. Aren't you happy about that? Fuck my life. <laughs> oh, that's great. Alright, let us seize the throne. Very well, this battle is over. Now, Mr. Slondy, Slindy, whatever. Since you didn't torture Metadash and you fought somewhat admirably, I will spare your lives. Now take your men, go to the Valny Gate. Return to your fucking Outrealm, and never show your face again in Phantom Land. Do I make myself clear? Er, yes sir. Good, now away with you. Shoo! Well, guess that means we're safe for now. Meta, come here this instant and let us share a manly handshake. Please refrain from doing that. All of the Aoi shippers will have an instant erection. Besides, if something like that were to happen, the entirety of Fort Manx would get diabetes. I do know about you, but I feel extremely violated. Ugh, shipping is for weebs. Excuse me, Sir Manx, but I have something important to report. While we were checking the dungeons, we found someone. And? It's difficult to explain. I think His Majesty needs to see her with her own eyes. Grayson, could you come over here, please? Greetings. Great, just what we needed. Furries. Eee! Admin Metadash, please, you're scaring her. Hey, I'm not a furry, but holy fuck, she's hot. <laughs> My name is Raisin. Raisin Uno. I don't. I have no idea how to pronounce this name. Raisin Udongain Inaba. Holy dritz! What? The queen of the lair of the Fooker? Queen Raisin in flesh and blood? Yes, I am indeed Markijo's spouse. Er, uh, I'm afraid that I do not follow. The tech, the technocracy of Fooker Forest is a secluded land. There, people spend most of their lives researching and developing new tech. It is ruled by the legendary Rage Master Markijo. I met him just once in my life during the Naga Festival. I knew he was married, it's just that I don't recognize your uh, species? I'm a moon rabbit. I know all this might sound weird, but I assure you that is the truth. Yours is certainly a bold claim. How do we know you're truly Queen Raisin and not some imposter? Take a look at my necklace. The Enrichment Emblem! That's the magical insignia worn only by the Fuka royalty. It is said that it's impossible to sabotage or steal these trinkets due to their magic. Then it is true. Queen Raisin, I must ask what you were doing in these foreign lands, and why you were locked in a cell. The lair of the Fukur is basically on the other side of the continent. That is a long story. I promise I will explain the reasons behind my presence here. For now, though, we must leave this country at once. All I'm going to say is that an ancient power has awoken into the depths of this darkness. Ooh, alright, okay. Anyway, uh, let's uh, play out the last uh, scene, shall we? Before we get to the route split. Hey boss, what are you doing here all alone? Oh, Mortal Dash, I was merely thinking about the past. Do you remember when we met the Rage Master? Yeah, it happened half a year ago at Ottawa, Canada's capital. Thanks, my man, come here. King Gast, it's a great honor to be invited here today. 
I humbly offer you my sincerest gratitude. What's with the freaking formalities all of a dude and <laughs> all of a sudden? Drop the act, mate. We're here to drink and have some good times, eh? Haha, <laughs> indeed, my good friend. Today we're gonna get completely shit-faced. Man, I do love the Naga Festival. Well, it is the biggest festivity in the world. Today, there's no difference between Scrub and Elitists. We're all united here in neutral territory to thank the goddess for all of her gifts to mankind. Soon, the pro pro procession to the Tower of Valny will start. We're going to perform our sacred rites atop the Valny Spire in the shadow of the Outrun Gate. I think there will be plenty of tourists this year. Or at least that's what Mistress Anna told me, eh? Good, good. I heard that the Crimean Queen is really hot. <laughs> I know that she technically engaged to that blue-haired mercenary. Ah, oh, I love how Ike Alinsha's canon in this universe. But I am not jealous. Ha <laughs> ha Boss, behave, please. Also, if you could refrain from starting brawls with the scrubs, that'd be great. Oh, before I forgot, let me tell you this. The Rage Master himself decided to participate this year. He's in the throne room with the other royals, eh? What? For real? I thought those guys weren't interested in what happened outside their borders. They tend to not meddle in our affairs. I know, right? Apparently, the Rage Master had a change of heart and arrived this afternoon with his personal guards. Do you want to meet him? This might be an interesting experience. It's up to you, boss. I guess you're right. He's probably the kind of person that clings to etiquette like his life, life is depending on it. Still, it could be beneficial to be on friendly terms with him. Very well, follow me. Rage Master Markijo, a moment please? Allow me to introduce you to King Manx, an admin metadash of Fort Manx. It's a pleasure to finally meet you in person, Lord Markijo. I've heard great things about you. Your Excellency, you honor us with your presence here at the festival. We hope your stay will be nothing short of pleasant. <laughs> Uh, is something the matter? No, nothing at all. It's just that these fucking hiccups. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what Manx is doing in the scene. That was anticlimactic. Disappointing and blatantly recycled from the old script. <laughs> Servants, fetch some water for our special guest quickly. Ugh, much better. <laughs> this is really fucking difficult to voice act. Yes, definitely anticlimactic. Oh, okay, I'm fine now, so yeah. The pleasure's all mine, King Nangs. I've heard a lot about you, too. Specifically, that you're kind of a dick and that you lost after blondes. Is that so, Marky Joe? Here's my answer. Kindly go caress... <laughs> gently caress yourself. Ah, oh, I knew it, eh? <laughs> nice one. What? You responded perfectly to my jab. Normally, people would just blabber excuses or get embarrassed. You, on the other hand, don't give an absolute fuck. I like that. I believe we're gonna be good friends, you and I. Ah, now we're talking. How about we go get completely shit-faced before the ceremony start? That's a good way to get to know each other. That sounds great! Hope my wife Raisin don't hear about this. Otherwise, I'm screwed. <laughs> well, I never. I remember him mentioning Raisin or something like that. I also remember that we got so hopelessly drunk that we woke up in a brothel. <laughs> Fitting, I suppose. Hey, I never said I was going to be an exemplary king, did I? <sighs> How did I end up in this hack? Time to go home. Manx! Guest, my man, I return victorious. King Guests, I'm so sorry for all the trouble that my scripted deployment might have caused. Nonsense! It does good for my heart to see that you two are still alive and kicking. Servants! Escort my guests to their room so that they can finally have a good night's nice rest. No, Gast, we'll rest later. First, you have to hear me out, because there's a lot of shit going on in Fandomland. I see. In that case, I'm all ears. Do omit any kind of detail. Our little trip to Scrubland has been eventful. We've confirmed that the Scrubs are after our Chaos Emerald. Also, there appears to be a third party involved in this mess, but their endgame is unknown. Anyway, we discover that a few former members of Rook Mangs who were banished after the Civil War decided to join the enemy. That's probably one reason why our armies fell so quickly against the Scrubs. Moreover, after defeating the Meme and Jerry mercenaries, we discover that they have taken Queen Race and Captain. Oh, I see. Wait, what? The Bald King tells the truth. I am indeed Queen Raisin of the Fuker Forest. On our way back, Raisin warned us of a great dark danger lurking in the shadows. My lady, could you explain to Gast the situation? As you already know, the Lair of the Fuker don't like to interact with foreigners. They spend most of their lives researching new technologies or improving already existing ones in an eternal per pursuit of perfection. That doesn't mean we're completely unaware of what happens in the rest of Fandomland. Go on. My husband and I in particular pay some degree of attention to the ver at the very least, but that's not all. I possess some special powers. I am able to detect negativity and madness. A month ago I perceived an overwhelming amount of evil twice. 
A large one is Scrubland and two smaller ones in Fort Manx itself. The energy, this negativity is indescribable, yet so familiar. With the help of my retainer, Sedgar, oh, I decided to set out to investigate this strange source. My husband tried to dissuade me, but I managed to convince him in the end. I take it something went wrong at some point. Yes, on our way south, we came across a battle between the Scrubs and the Fort Manx army. We were drawn into the conflict and got separated. The Scrubs tricked me into lowering my guard and managed to capture me. They were going to send me to the capital, but luckily Manx and his elitists rescued me in time. Incredible. Did they tell you why they wanted to send wanted to send you to the Scrub Castle? Yes, one of their generals recognized my rage emblem and identified me as Marky's wife. He said that they were going to use me as a bargaining chip to get their hands to the lair of the on the lair of the Fuker's Chaos Emerald. See? That's what the Scrub Avatar wants, our Chaos Emeralds. Gast, I hope Canada's Emerald is well protected. Don't worry, man. I sent some of my best timbers to enforce the Tower of Valny and the Outram Gel Gate. No reason to panic. Your Majesty, I bring the famous last words cliché. <laughs> what is so urgent that you would interrupt a private council? The Valny Tower has been assaulted by scrub troops. The Chaos Emerald has been stolen. What the fuck? What about the soldier? They were supposed to be many. The enemy forces were led by Will the Pork Eye and Ishtrol the Bolting Maniac. Our soldiers fell before even half of something something. No, no way! If our Chaos Emerald is removed, the Outrealm Gate will stop working. Fuck, this means that nobody enters and nobody leaves. No reason to panic. One job, Gast! You had one job! <laughs> I'm oh, no, a green not the Canadians. Unit. I'm a green unit! I'm a green unit! I'm a green Gotta love unit. the Canadians. You absolute unit. madman, what have you done? If you remove the emerald, you're cutting us off from the entire universe. Take a good look around and contemplate the magnitude of fucks that I don't give. Oh, such a good quote. No, I won't let you. Shut up, you silly green unit. Your existence is just a waste of precious data. Ew, I'm not touching that. Such a brutality is not necessary, you know. Shut the fuck up, you whiny faggot. We got the emerald, and that's all that matters. Now let's get back to HQ. Fine, I need to change my mascara anyway. <laughs> oh no, I... Oh, I'm not looking forward to fighting Ishtral. So, whoopsie, I done goofed, apparently. Maybe putting Green Unit in charge of the tower was not my greatest idea. <laughs> Dark energy is emanating from our lands, the Avatar's sudden invasion. Evil monstrosities roaming the continent, and now this. We are in dank times once again. I believe it is time to strike back at the casuals. If the enemy manages to get all of the stones, the Avatar will obtain godly powers and will undoubtedly reshape the world as he pleases. We cannot allow that to happen. We must warn the other nations. As long as the enemy doesn't control all the K emeralds, they'll be forced to play, pay with their life force in order to abuse their power. We must take action. And indeed, it is time for me to take the field. I will personally go to Fire Emblem Main and try to convince their leader to join us in this conflict. I'll pass through Fire Emblem Fan Zone and then to the northern edge of Fort Manx. Manx! This task falls on me because you're not exactly welcome in those lands. But what about your country? Your people need you more than ever. While you were infiltrating Scrubland, I spent most of the time preparing for war. My subordinates will take charge of any will take care of anything. My subordinates will take care of everything in my absence. I guess I'll have to lead the assault on Scrubland. Meta, what the hell? Hey, don't look at me like that. I didn't even want to be here in the first place. In this world, my script is law. Ah, damn it. Very well, in that case, I shall go to Fuker Forest. Good. The following battle will decide the destiny of Fandomland. We'll prevail, or will we perish? Find out in the next episode of Fort Mongoloids. <laughs> Master Thel! Mistress Yukari, I bring dire news. We, their absence. What? Why? Where did they go? They left a small note. Apparently, they are headed to ask her to assess the situation. Oh fuck, dude, listen, I've been monitoring the situation here. A goddamn war broke out. We have to do something about this. Well, sadly, we cannot. Our orders are to stay here and defend the border between reskins and hacks. But what about fandom Len? The people will have to deal with this problem on their own terms. Look, I don't like this either, but we don't have much of a choice. The border takes absolute priority. <sighs> Still, I wonder what could have happened to Asker to catch Tal's interest. Nice. Oh, we got 10,000 gold. Oof, do I really have to be the one going to the lair of the Fuker? Shouldn't I be the main character? You are. If anything, you're going to see me again in chapter 15 since I'm just a filler character. <laughs> Now that you mention it, I have a burning desire to pick the Erika route. Ugh, this plot is just a huge train wreck. Look, try not to die, okay? Haha, <laughs> don't worry, Mental Dash. You, on the other hand, stay out of trouble, okay? Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't get paid enough for this. 
Mengs and Metadash will now part ways. Which one of them will you accompany? <laughs> okay, I have to make a save state and pick Metadash now. Nah, hello? <laughs> Wait, did the game freeze? Ah, shit, the game froze. Good thing I made a fucking save state. Alright. Will you go with Manx? Sure. King Manx, wait! Huh? What are you guys doing here? Thought you were going with Metadash. That was the original plan. Too bad he forced us to go with you. What? Is he insane? Your Excellency, Gas gave him a command of the Invisible Green Army. Can Canada's finest will watch us back. For this reason, he ordered us to follow you and keep you safe from yourself. Very funny, stupid admin. Very funny. Alright, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Join us next time as we begin on the official Manx route. The only route, I guess. Behold, you can now tower abuse. Now that the emerald has been removed, creatures of darkness have been sighted within the tower. Could there be a link between those relics and the terrors? Only time will tell. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Join us next time as we take on the first part of the Manx route, which is the only route, because there's no meta dash route, because the developers are lazy. Anyway, guys, this episode, a like and a comment, and I shall see you guys next time. Bye-bye.